Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I have got some exciting news to share with you today. I have just signed a job offer the other week and I know how challenging the job search can be, especially right now with the rise of AI, ATS systems, artificial intelligence, all that stuff. And um, I just want to take this opportunity to share with you website resources I found useful during my job search here in Ontario, Canada. I hope it will be useful in your job search as well. And uh, as usual, if you have any questions, concerns or suggestions, you are always welcome to leave a comment below. So without further ado, let's jump right into my uh, browser screen and uh, I will show you these resources one by one. Right. First of all, I will wear my glasses to see things a, a bit better. And uh, the first website that I will share, I'm sure probably 95% of job seekers know about it, but I want to address this big elephant in the room. It is uh, LinkedIn, and it's not only the largest networking platform out there, which has about 1 billion users, which is about one eighth of the world population right now, but also it has has job search option here right on this platform if you go into this case in between your messages and network updates you will get into the page where you can see the suggested jobs for your profile based on all the matrices keywords etc you can also search for a job in the search panel as an example i just type data scientist where in canada or specifically type ontario comma canada you will get a kind of default list of companies and positions and you can also sort them by of course experience level internship entry associate director executive salary date post to the company, uh, hybrid, remote, on-site. You can go into all filters here. Here you can actually search. I will show you how you can utilize this. You can use, yeah, and they just keep updating this thing, but basically you can use in your network and it should show show you positions in the companies where your connections work so you can actually reach out to them and that's why it's a job networking platform right you can reach out to your connections and ask them if th this is still open maybe you can set up an informal interview which uh, is just you asking your connections to share their experiences of uh, working in this role or you can ask them general questions about how is their experience working in this particular company. And oftentimes your connections will ask you to share your resume or CV with them so they can share it with a hiring manager. So you will completely skip this whole initial applicant's pool. Here is a kind of pro tip I learned in recently. I actually, it didn't happen that I applied within, I think, a day or two of the job being posted. So you can always limit when the job was posted. And on LinkedIn platform, you can do it and click past 24 hours. It's kind of the best, best bet that the job was recently posted. And again, it doesn't mean that you will 100% get there. It depends on really a lot of factors, starting from this applicant tracking system, ATS systems, and how your resume and experiences fit in the role, or how that filtering ATS system thinks it fits. It also depends on if it is host job, right? The job that is just there, but due to many reasons nobody who applies will be hired to limit the video <laughs> you know to the topic i want to share i will i can talk about this in, in another video what are these cost jobs and how to increase your chances to battle it that's basically 
you know, the LinkedIn platform. Next one is also elephant in the room. It is Indeed. Now, in this case, it's ca.indeed.com because uh, I look for Canadian job market specifically, but in general, just type indeed.com. You will get in similar panel. You can choose job title, such as keywords or company name, location. And then again, uh, you just filter when the job was posted. LinkedIn gives only past 24 hours or past seven days. In Indeed gives also three days, which I like more because it's it is a modern method. After seven or 14 days, it doesn't matter if the job was down for months, two months, because uh, some hiring managers just don't take off a job because uh, they have a lot of work at hand, right? Then they just to me forget about it. So after seven days, you can apply for jobs, but don't spend too much for their general rule of thumb is to apply for jobs which were posted within 24 to 48 one to two days or here three days again job title location company language as well you have jobs you can see job details summary what i heard about indeed that some people had success on indeed platform compared to linkedin personally i will tell by the end of the video what worked out for me but i also heard about some people who had success on LinkedIn and they just applied and then got a job you know it's really it depends it's also luck time of the day you apply and there are a lot of factors which are not invisible so I would recommend just diversifying your efforts for example I was applying one day I apply on this platform tomorrow I apply for jobs on another platform then another and so on so I, I have diversifying my portfolio of applications let's Let's move on to the next one it's also quite big glassdoor.ca on this website you can not only search for jobs you can also check the companies and reviews check salaries and community for question answers besides the usual remote only filter easy apply only company ratings date posted glassdoor uses ratings from one to five stars and also they have reviews of companies and and uh, a lot of them are just big outliers uh, because normally if employee had amazing time or event on a job they would share that or they had really bad the worst event with their employer so they will also share that so you might see a lot of one star or five star reviews here either way it's nice to have some insights on uh, companies and salaries etc so this uh, is also quite a big platform again some people uh, had success uh, on this platform others on other platforms it will be up to you which uh, platform i will leave links to all these platforms in the video description or in the comments of course now after these three elephants in the room the biggest job search platforms i want to share less popular choices but i think they also have great potential to offer and they have unique aspects as well so this one otta otta.com in this job search website you you basically create your profile and you write I will go here for a moment you write your experience level maybe expected salary you can leave it empty etc you can write which job type remote hybrid on site you would prefer for example you write your experiences education and they give you personalized list of companies and positions for which you can apply directly on this auto website or you can apply on the company website I go to my dashboard so you have different sections for which type of job you can apply for I can see five jobs uh, currently that accept application through OTA and honestly if the company asks to apply to their website or through OTA maybe it's worth applying through OTA because they will not mind your resume that has this uh, yellow background right you can see jobs added this week I don't really know when they were added for example if I, I click there uh, Grammarly machine learning engineer 
blah 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 also you have insights from past pilot glass door what i do like about OT is that they have overview of company and what does take from either their cto or ceo that tells what the company is about so you can use this information to your advantage if you write current letter i would use it i did use it i think it's nice to have overview like this and then you simply click here and you have different options here that's uh what otta is uh, you can use apply or save for later and i would suggest giving it a shot if you are struggling with your job search uh, because in one of the big limitations on the application stage is that it's hard to find relevant jobs that you would really enjoy i got lucky to get uh, a job that uh, i like and find a job offer for this opportunity. I think that sometimes it's hard to find the right opportunity. So trying out different websites, you can narrow down your job search and maybe you will find the OTA works better for you than LinkedIn or Indeed, for example. Give it a shot, try it out. Uh, next, next one in my list is well-found jobs wellfound.com so this is also more like a community that they have discover option which has blog mostly about the startup ai machine learning ml etc but if i go for jobs you can again use all sorts of filters here which technologies you want to use marketers job in details it's a really catered towards the startups you can even search for the startups in their investment stage round so that's quite unique to this well found but honestly i did not apply for many jobs here because i was looking for all sorts of company sizes not necessarily startups uh, i worked in the netherlands and previously in the startup and enjoyed it but uh, i would like also to try mid to large size companies but if you are really interested in the startups well found might be for you so try it out we are moving to the next website which is findyourjob.ca so here again you have different options like help for job seekers for example if i go here i will show you what means they can basically help with improving your english help you with job search process they are funded by the government of canada and uh, employment ontario i like it uh, i like to use um, government and resources because now you get a job you pay taxes it goes to the government and uh, kind of bounces it back to you so it's really in helping each other i like to use this sector maps for example you can see Toronto here Brampton, Valha, Markham, Mississauga but for example i'm interested in 12 i will just zoom in a little bit slow now but okay it needs to render this map it, it has this heat map different results like 32,000 results found all sectors manufacturing finance and insurance it has a lot of options and then you can just explore uh, options one more website that i wanted to share but forgot monster monster ca identify i need to log in and identify i'll not go through it in right now but this in the website is called monster.com and uh here i think here even i used there are free options to check my resume for free they have option to subscribe to specific job titles for example data scientist and uh, you get those jobs in your mailbox again you can search for jobs there i didn't come to my mind at first because i didn't use it that much honestly but this is an option and worth trying as well and now as i promised what actually worked in my case so in my case i uh, realized that uh, all of these platforms are great and they have different things to offer uh, different aspects or even types of companies like startups specifically linkedin that kind of combines a job search and networking and opportunities as well it sometimes fails at both but the option is there but what i realized that 
none of these options are ideal and you need to double check sometimes triple check and i would see uh, some options sometimes available on several platforms the best double check is actually to go to the company website and look for something like career opportunities or join us uh, link somewhere and then see if the job is still out there because it's very easy with such a big number of jobs to forget to remove those jobs for hiring managers right uh, so the jobs can be in one of these websites job boards but they might not be available on the company website so i would recommend what actually worked for me the best is that to apply to the company website in my opinion it's the best option that's out there but it doesn't mean that i did not use these platforms to my advantage right so how i used them, I would actually search for available jobs and then do double check and take cross references with other websites to avoid this cause jobs or who knows what you now because um, I really put a lot of effort in each of my applications and I would also recommend you to do the same to not just you know like on LinkedIn easy apply easy apply the same in resume I, I don't think this strategy works. It might, it might not work and it's great if it does, but in my opinion, it's worth investing more time to cater every application to every open job search rather than just easy applying, you know, machine gun, like shooting the same resume for every job posting. But also it uh, makes it more uh, fr frustrating especially to not hear back or hear a general generic email generated by chat gp sorry keep applying we appreciate it sometimes um, when you get a really you know, good and catered uh, email you you know i got rejection emails uh, like that like we took another candidate whose experiences are better but we really liked your experience and then we will keep your resume in our reserve file for future opportunity and then, then got another offer but uh, still it was so nice that they and appreciated my efforts or maybe it was also a generic email but just not as generic as others i also would apply in each of these positions at least once right uh, i liked uh, to um, combine them and as i said like in one day i apply on this uh, the platforms say linkedin yesterday i applied on indeed tomorrow i will use on glassdoor and just to kind of diversify your effort i guess that's all for the video i wanted to share so i will just wait for your comments and give me a shout out in the comments below and to subscribe to the channel you know that's the way to stay up to date with my journey and i hope to see you soon bye